with the recent indie artist revolution and independent artists popping up everywhere it was just a matter of time before corporations found a way to cash in on indie's desire for music business freedom and how the corporations and major labels find a way to cash in on this indie revolution through one of the most important tools a musician needs distribution See, distribution allows your music to reach your fans or your potential fans worldwide. Doesn't matter where they're located, today in the digital age, you can pick up a fan base in any part of the world. But you need to be on the platform that's available to your potential fan base. However, with that in mind, artist focus has been solely on one thing based on the industry's reputation for bad contracts and ripping off their artists. Indie artists was forced to look for opportunities where they can keep all of their royalties. And companies like DistroKid, TuneCore, AWOL, and the rest were born. Offering indie artists the freedom that they wanted to be in control of their music career. However, it came with a price. And that price didn't necessarily give indie artists everything they need to be successful in the music industry. If artists wanted all the tools that they should have and need in order to be successful in the music industry, you'd have to pay extra. However, do artists necessarily know what to expect from their distribution partner? And are they being exploited for that lack of knowledge? In this video, I'll briefly go over some things that you need to look for within your distribution partner and platform to make sure that you have the same tools the major labels have and that they use in order to make decisions about marketing and promoting their music. Now to give you guys a basic idea of what uh, your portal should have, at least some basic things that you have or should be looking for in your distribution partner, uh, I'm going to go into our particular uh, distribution portal and just show you some things that we have that you want to be looking for with your distribution platform and partner. Um, now again, this is not to try and push our distribution opportunity or anything of that nature. Uh, matter of fact, we are very particular about who we bring on to distribution because we want people that's going to be actively working um, their music. But as you've seen, when you first logged in, there was a message that popped up. So any new developments that's going on within our system or that we've added, you will always see that message pop up when you log in. Uh, there are several different things I want you to make note of. Um, because our platform is a platform for audio, which is your music, video, YouTube, film, ebooks, and things of that nature, you have different tabs here, but we're going to stick with the music aspect of it. And you can, first thing you see is I have an overall, um, synopsis being shown right now as far as music that I have. And the first thing you'll see is latest releases. So this tells me any music that has been released today or will be released within the next day or two um, that we've had. So these are all recent releases. And from here, if I wanted to, if I chose to, let's go, for example, for Nikki Wicks, first thing first, I can go here and click on daily trends or statements. Uh, and I'll show you what that's like later on. Um, however, this also tells me my releases this week and the thing here in the blue says that this music has been released uh, or pre-released for streaming only right now and we have a release for physical downloads which is considered a full release later on all these though however are scheduled for full release and on the side of here you will notice that we have top 10 bundles uh, and it gives you a date and time that the music is basically considered top. And what, what this basically does is show you what your music is doing within this time frame. So if you put out an album and you have various albums or singles or you have various artists and you want to know whose music is moving and making a little traction, this tells you right now soon as you get here to your right what music is doing what and it gives you a rough estimate of the streams of as last reported by the platforms because most of the time the platforms are a couple of days behind but right here in this general area is what you'll see okay uh, here you see we have what's new in the platform so we're talking about our South Korean music distribution uh, we'll talk about 14 days given the platforms 14 days which is a requirement but what I want to do is um, let's let's go in here real quick let's look at and, and notice there's two well let me do this first see there's two tabs here one if you click 
will take you to the um, the page where the music is now once it's been published this is the, the, the page that you can go to to edit or look at stats and things of that nature and you still can have because on the other page you notice there was daily trends so you still have your daily trends or your statements here all right and we'll just go over certain things again that you want to be able to look at we have our name catalog number the artist uh, the release date that it was on the streaming release date um, Beatport exclusive and if you guys are not familiar with Beatport Beatport is one of those um, platforms that are, it's great to release your music for um, that are basically cross promotes for you they have the exclusive the exclusivity before your music is uh, released and they'll basically highlight your music on their their portal um, and here EAN for those who don't know EAN is basically a UPC it's just a universal UPC um, that we provide as well um, here you will be able to see your ISRC code so if you need it you'll be able to just come in here and highlight it so for example if you are sending your music over to your uh, performing rights organization simply go to the music you better copy it from there if you wanted to listen to the music all right you have the option to listen to the music all right uh, pause it and then eject it which means that the screen will leave but if you do not eject it that music screen will stay up you might want to listen to it while you go through and um, listen to other music that you have uploaded here um, let's click on a couple of these things to just see and again these are just little things that you want to be able to see within your distribution portal okay so here you'll see from our um, there is no information here this is your beat port however but when you look at the release of the music, you can see what your music is doing. And this allows you to be able to understand if you have any marketing uh, efforts going in place, how your marketing is affecting the streams. Very important, guys. Very important. And you can see I, I have it right now just outlined May 22nd to June 17th, uh, even though the music wasn't released until June um, this gives me just an outline within a month of knowing how this works. And this also tells you your um, your streams. This gives you a color code variation of what each color means. Green is for streams. Um, gray is or black gray is for downloads. Um, blue would be for bundles. But this is not an EP, so there will be no bundle representation here. Um, however, little things like this, you know what I mean? This, this tells you right now what we're what we're looking at and these right here these reflect the same thing so two two times this song has been downloaded and it's been streamed so far uh 1934 times um give or take two or three days all right something else we want to look at um chart and playlist tracking so this again tells us if there's been any chart entries once this charts this will let us know that this has been entered into the charts um, this is still in beta mode, but if there was YouTube videos that um, uh, was claimed or music, your music was used in a YouTube video, you will see your music here where it was claimed. These are content IDs. These are things, guys, that should be inherent. You should not be being charged for. However, I get it. A lot of these platforms are looking to make extra money, but this is something that is inherent and it's free for us. You know, what I mean, it's free for distribution. You shouldn't have to pay extra for it. But hey, um, and now Linkfire. Let's talk about Linkfire. Linkfire. Um, we've teamed up with Linkfire to be able to offer you guys widgets. Okay, and these widgets provide you basically a one. What's the best way to say it? One link for everything option, meaning that when you post your link in your Instagram or your Facebook account, that one link will give your um, fans an option to choose how they want to listen to your music. So first, they'll be able to preview it. Secondly, they'll be able to choose how they want to listen to it. So if they don't have an account with, let's say, Napster for say or iTunes, but they do have one for Spotify, they'll be able to um, click Spotify to listen to your music and then go with it from there because you don't want to be listing all these links in order to list or you know allow your fans to listen to your music now if we go back up again there's some things here that we can look at you'll be able you can send your music to a client via email okay and you know you can send them an mp3 or wave 
this is this is very important because if you wanted to send your music, let's say to a DJ or to a, a blogger or someone like that, and you didn't want to send them the actual music via email because of course you got to look at spam, trash, different things of that nature. You just want to provide them a link to be able to listen to your music. This will do that. This will email them for that. If you didn't necessarily have a copy of the music and you don't feel like searching for it or listening, uh, looking for it, you can download a copy via MP3 or Wave. Um, information, you know what I mean, which is very important. Um, if you want to be able to submit this music over to, let's say, your publishing administrator or someone like that, then you know, you would um, you just send them over this email and they would have all the pertinent information they need, um, catalog number, um, EI, EAN, the ISRC code, all these different things. You would see composer, all the information there. So that's very important, guys, if you want to do that as well. Um, and sharing, you know what I mean? Of course, sharing is um, very pivotal to the information. Now, the, the, the thing about this as well is, and I want to be very clear, um, with most distribution companies, they don't allow you to edit the music once it's published. And it's not necessarily them. Um, a lot of the platforms don't want the music edited once you submit it. Um, however, you can take it down and you can re-upload it and different things like that. But your music will be off. And if it's, uh, if it's attached to any kind of playlist or anything like that, guys, then, uh, of course, it... Um, it hurts your marketing efforts or whatever that you have and you'll see that you know right here it says that attention this product is already published changes besides the sales facts tabs will not be saved all right but here is where you would basically put your information in you know depending on what it is is an ep a single album compilation audio book um just it it you know, you want to have all of these features, guys. You want to have the ability to have all of these features and be in full control like a record label. This distribution and, and, and our partners that we um, work with overseas um, is designed to have all of the functionality that record labels is. We have a fully functional distribution that allows us to act as a label and have all the functionality that labels should have. All right, and this is the things that you want to look at, and you need to be asking your distributor: Do they have, or do they have plans to have these type things, um, so that you can be more in control of your music and be able to look at again the analytics uh, and all the other things that uh, is pertinent to your music career being successful. Um, and and here again. You can see here territories, you know what I mean? You can see territories where the music is being submitted, you know what I mean? And you have the opportunity here. We have the opportunity to, you know, submit our music worldwide. Uh, if, if there's a, a platform that services a country, we're going to submit it to it. You want to be able to control where you want your, your music located, okay? So, you know, these are very important things uh, within the aspect of distribution. Again, um, you also have something that we, we have is um, with our particular portal, we have the ability to set up multiple labels. So if you have a uh, distribution account with us and you wanted to set up other uh, distributors or allow other people to distribute, you have that ability as well within our at least uh, portal. But again, um, just basic functionality, guys, when you are working toward um, having a profitable uh, business you know what I mean you want these functionalities you want to be able to have a bunch of functionalities that work for you um, and I think it's very important like here you see me go into content and, and now I'm able to look at all the music that we have that's published um, I'm able to um, see so much within the portal that allows us the ability to be able to handle our music business and be able to deal with it in a way that is beneficial to us. Now, I'm not going to hold you guys up for long, but I just want to show you little things that you want to be able to uh, at least or expect 
from your music distributor, okay? Little things. So this is the short link I was telling you about. Okay. You know, these are tools that we feel every artist needs in order to properly promote their music. All right, guys? This, of course, is sharing if you want to share. Now, this particular feature I really love. This is a share feature that allows you to be able to take a link from our portal and basically send it to, um, um, let's say, a blogger or someone that's interested in listening to the music. And they don't want to just listen to the music. They want some more dynamics. They want to know maybe um, the copyright holder, who who's administering They're going to write a piece on you. And you don't want to send them over all this information. You know, this is already there available for you. It tells them that when it was released, when it started streaming, the label that it's connected with, the title of the song, the basic UPC code, um, catalog number, uh, where they can buy it at, where it's available at. They can listen to the song on the spot. As you see, it makes it available for them to listen to. Um, you know, producer name, writer's name, uh, artist info, uh, pretty much everything that they would need. It simplifies your um, your workload. Um, so again, guys, these are the things that I'm saying you, you want to be looking for in a distributor. I mean, in a distributor to make sure that you're maximizing. Yes, you get caught up in the cheap prices or the 100% free aspects of it. Um, but you also want a, a distributing partner that's going to provide you all the tools in order to make sure that your music business is a success. All right, guys, look forward and see you in the next video. Remember, music is life. We out.